It's the James Comey catchphrase that became a phenomenon. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. And Lordy, are there ever? Maybe not from his conversations with Donald Trump, but from just about everywhere else, thanks to our collective obsession with technology and little eavesdropping devices we've willingly brought into our homes, like Amazon's Echo, Google's Home, and Apple's Siri-enabled iPhones. And while most people love the ability to ask Alexa what's the weather like and get an immediate response or get her to play Waterloo by ABBA anytime they want, they might not love the fact that others can hear their requests too, and sometimes even more. Today, a coalition of privacy and child advocacy groups filed a complaint with federal regulators accusing Amazon of improperly recording and storing conversations with its young users through the Echo Kids speaker. And last week, Washington Post tech writer George Fowler found Amazon keeps a record of all of Echo's recordings, usually triggered by saying the word Alexa, or words the Echo thinks sound like Alexa. In fact, if you have one right now, I'm probably triggering it like crazy. Sorry about that. But the point is, when Fowler went through years of voice archives from She Who Shall Not Be Named, he not only found snippets of conversations about dinner and shows like this one, but also parts of private conversations about finances, medications, and other personal matters. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos says the company is just collecting data to improve the Echo's artificial intelligence. Yeah, and Mitch McConnell is just trying to improve the quality of our democracy. As Stephen Colbert suggests, we might want to consider a new name for the device altogether. Alexa. That's a pretty name. Much prettier than the earlier name, the Privacy Destroyer Spy Mike 5000. <laughs> of course, this is nothing new. Back in 2013, Verizon filed a patent on a smart sensor-equipped cable box that could anticipate users' needs based on what they're saying, doing, and even feeling. Samsung, too, admitted a few years ago that its smart TVs were recording people in their home. Thankfully, though, someone's tried to help us. Former Congressman Mike Capuano, a champion of consumer privacy rights, filed a bill along with former GOP Congressman Walter Jones to block such corporate spying efforts. Unfortunately for us, that bill stalled in Congress, but in 2017, when Republicans tried to roll back another FCC privacy rule, Capuano delivered this memorable speech on the House floor. What the heck are you thinking? What is in your mind? Why would you want to give out any of your personal information to a faceless corporation for the sole purpose of them selling it? Just last week, I bought underwear on the internet. Why should you know what size I take? Extra large. But trust me, you look great in them.